Okay, before we go any further, if you haven't copied down the table of contents, the learning intention, and the main ideas in your notebook, you need to rewind this video and do that. You can pause the video if there's not enough time for you, but those things have to get down. Okay, we're going to start with what is a proportional relationship. A proportional relationship is just when the relationship between two sets of numbers is equal. We can also say that when two rates or two fractions are equal, they are in a proportional relationship. So here we have two sets of numbers. We have 1 and 4, and we have 2 and 8. We can also write this as a fraction, 1 half and 4 over 8. This is a proportional relationship between, because the relationship between 1 and 4 is the same as the relationship between 2 and 8. I know this because if I multiply 1 times 4, I get 4. And if I multiply 2 by the same number, if I multiply 2 by 4, I get 8. This fraction is equal to this fraction because I can multiply the top number and the bottom number by the same number and get 4 over 8. And so we see the proportionality everywhere in our world. So let's, let's give a real life example here. Let's say that you are in art class and you drew this wonderful design of some sort of flag or whatever you want this to be. And your art teacher, even though you don't really get along with her that well, and you may not like her class that much, but your art teacher says, I love this drawing that you made, I love this painting. Can you make it bigger? But can you make sure that it's exactly the same drawing? And at first you're like, oh yeah, no problem, I can do that. But then you're wondering, okay, how am I actually going to make this exact same shape bigger? And then you remember that your math teacher says that you can use proportional relationships to make the same picture bigger, to enlarge a picture. You can use proportional relationships. So let's say that you measured this and you got that this side measured 12 centimeters and this side measured 15 centimeters. Okay, I can even write that as a fraction. I can write 12 over 15 and don't forget your units which is centimeters. Okay, and then you want to make it three times the size that it currently is. Three times the size. So I'm going to multiply 12 times 3 and I'm going to multiply 15 times 3. I'm going to multiply both sides by the same number so that it's proportional. And I end up with 32 centimeters on this side and 45 centimeters on this side. Okay? And then I can write another fraction here, 32 centimeters over 45 centimeters. Okay? If this is a proportional relationship, which I think it is, that means that the relationship between 12 and 32 is the same as the relationship between 15 and 45. So I know that I can multiply 12 times 3 and get 32. Now, if I'm writing a proportional relationship, I want to make sure that I can multiply 15 by 3 and get 45. So I'm going to do 15 times 3, and you can even double check it on your calculator if you're not sure. And 15 times 3 does give you 45. And so this is a proportional relationship. And we know because our picture ends up looking exactly the same, only three times bigger. So your art teacher is very, very happy with you. But what if you didn't do it right? What if you made a mistake and you didn't make a proportional enlargement or you didn't make a proportional relationship? So let's say that you had 12 centimeters again here and 15 centimeters on the length. And this time you multiplied 12 times 3 and you got 32 centimeters. And then you did 15 times 2, and you got 30 centimeters, okay? Write two fractions, and we're going to see if these two fractions are equal. So I'm going to do 12 over 15, and I'm going to remember to write my units. And I'm going to see, is this equal to 32 over 30 centimeters? 
okay? I know that I can multiply 12 times 3 and get 32. Can I multiply 15 times 3 and get 30? Well, 15 times 3, if you remember, is 45, and 30 is not equal to 45. 30 is not equal to 45. In fact, the only way that this would be correct is if we multiplied this by 2 instead of 3. And if we multiply the top and the bottom by a different number, that means the relationship between 12 and 32 is different than the relationship between 15 and 30. Because 32 is 3 times the size of 12, and 30 is only 2 times the size of 15, so the relationship is different. So they are not proportional. If I can fit that in there. Okay, so let's try this problem. This is an example problem, and this is the kind of thing that you're going to see on the exit ticket and also on the test. Um, you're going to have the same exact thing. You're going to have a table which has a, a bunch of pairs of proportional relationships or not proportional relationships, and you have to tell me which ones are proportional and which ones are not proportional. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to test each one of these. We're going to see are these fractions or are these rates proportional? Do they form proportional relationships? So I'm just going to start with the first one. I'm going to write both fractions out, 1 half and 7 fourteenths. And I'm going to ask myself, what do I need to multiply 1 by in order to get 7? And hopefully you're saying to yourself 7. 1 times 7 is 7. So now I'm going to multiply the bottom by 7, and I'm going to see if this equals 14. And 2 times 7 does equal 14, so this first part, this A, is a proportional relationship, and I'm just going to circle it. And you can even write a little smiley face by it so that you know that it's a proportional relationship. All right, let's try the second one, part B. It says two-fifths and six-ninths. Are they in a proportional relationship or not? So I'm going to write the fractions out again, two-fifths and six-ninths. And I'm going to see, what do I need to multiply 2 by in order to get 6? And what do I need to multiply 5 by in order to get 9? I need to multiply 2 by 3 in order to get 6. If I multiply 5 times 3, do I get 9? Hopefully you're saying no, because 5 times 3, as we know, is 15, which is not equal to 9. So part B here, part B is not a proportional relationship. It is not a proportional relationship. Let's try part C. Part C says 6 eighths and 18 twenty fourths. 6 eighths and 18 twenty fourths. So I need to see what can I multiply 6 by to get 18? What can I multiply 8 by to get 34? Or 24, I'm sorry. So 6 times 3 is 18. In order for this to be a proportional relationship, I would have to multiply 8 times 3 to get 24. And I know that 8 times 3 is 24, so that means that this is a proportional relationship. The relationship between 6 eighths and 18 24ths is proportional. Or I could also say the relationship between 6 and 18 is proportional to the relationship between 8 and 24. So this is a proportional relationship. Now let's look at the next one. The next one's a little trickier because it involves decimals and sometimes decimals aren't very easy to simplify in our heads. It's not very easy to multiply things in our heads. And so with this one, I'm going to use a different method. And if this method works better for you, then you should use them for all of the other ones. So instead of seeing what I can multiply 1.5 and 3.5 by in order to get 5 and 15. Oops. Let me erase that. 5 and 15. I'm going to simplify both of these into a decimal. And I'm going to do that by using a calculator. So if you have a calculator, get that out now. And I'm going to put 1.5 divided by 3.5 and see what that decimal is because I know that a fraction is the same thing as a division problem. So I'm going to do 1.5 divided by 3.5 and I get about 0 0.43. 0 0.43. 
So if this was a proportional relationship and I divided 5 divided by 15, I would get about 0.43. These two would be equal. So I'm going to do 5 divided by 15 in my calculator, and I get 0.33. These numbers are not equal, so this is not a proportional relationship. It is not a proportional relationship. So we got to go back and answer our question because we always want to remember to answer our question. And it says which pairs show a proportional relationship and so we're going to say that pairs A and pair C, A and C, are proportional, are proportional. A and C are proportional. And that's how I would answer that question. Made with DoodleCast Pro.